Hello everyone, so today I will be talking about how you could um, upgrade your Dell Optiplex 390. So if you have a Dell Optiplex 390, um, the first one of the first things you can do is you can upgrade the power supply, which is right here. So on my Optiplex 390, I put a EVGA 450 80 plus bronze power supply in it and I have a video on that you could um, I'll leave it in the video descriptions and I'll also leave it in the end screen and the video card as well so you could refer to it look at it and it's a uh, it shows you how to take the the old power supply out and put a new one in so the power supply that comes with the Dell Optiplex 390 is it's um I think it's 290 or 300 watts it's, it's enough for an office computer but if you want to do more with it like add a better graphics card for gaming and stuff like that it's probably not going to be enough so um, you could add a new power supply in it it doesn't have to be a 450 you could put a 500 600 700 or whatever depending on how much you want to spend or depending on how much your budget is put in whatever you want and um, all you have to do to do that is remove the four screws which are highlighted uh, with the uh, orange I mean I'm sorry the green circles which you see right here you just take those screws out and that will loosen the power supply and there's a little tab right there you see where my mouse is at you push that in and then you put the power move the power supply this way from left to right so this direction that direction so that's all you have to do when you get it out and before you do that you have to take out uh, um, the SATA power cable so there's a four pin SATA power cable and there's a I think that's a 24 pin SATA I mean not I mean the ATX power cable so 4 pin ATX power cable you remove that and the 24 pin ATX power cables you remove cable you remove that which is highlighted in the yellow rectangles and also if you have any um, hard drives and optical drives connected to the SATA power cables you just remove those two and you also remove it from your uh, opt 5.25 inch optical drive as well and that's pretty much it that's all you have to do to upgrade the power supply It's pretty simple to do and the next thing you could do is you could upgrade the RAM for your Dell Optiplex 390 there are two options you can take you can uh, get uh, two sticks of four gigabytes so <coughs> getting two would be eight and I I like Hynix memory modules, so that's why I put it in there. I'll put all the stuff in the video descriptions on where you can get the stuff. So, um, the next one is you could put in two eight. You could put in two fours, like two four gigabytes here. So that would be eight gigabytes. For a total of eight gigabytes, or you could put two eights, so you could have sixteen gigabytes. So, depending on how much money you want to spend, if you want more memory, the better it is, of course, because uh, you want everything in your computer's memory, so it could access everything faster than trying to access it through your hard drive or something, right? So. So this computer was released around mid, the middle of 2011, so it's about 9 years old. Originally it came with about 4 gigabytes of RAM, but like I showed you here, you can add, you can add 2 4 gigabyte modules to get 8, or you could get, you could add 2 8 gigabyte modules to get 16, and this will bring you up to date. 
and you should be able to run most when you should be able to run Windows 10 and most modern applications without any problems like um, using the web browser streaming videos on YouTube um, Hulu Netflix or whatever however you it is recommended that you upgrade your graphics card as well if you want to do that but if you want to do any office tasks with Microsoft Office or something you shouldn't have any problems with it if you have a lot of memory and to remove the memory it's quite simple um, there are these two tabs right here you just to remove the old RAM modules you just press down on it press down on the tabs together and then that will release this and then you just move it up and then you just take the RAM modules out and um, to get the new ones in uh, you see one side the RAM is smaller and one side is larger you just have to align it with with those uh, holes on your motherboard the slots on your motherboard and then you align it and then you just push it in push the RAM module in you put pressure on here and here you put one thumb here one thumb there and push down and then it should just snap right in place the white tabs would just uh, close again as it goes in that's it that's all you have to do for for upgrading the RAM and the next one um, you could upgrade the graphics card for your Dell Optiplex 390 as well um, However, there are limitations on which, what kind of graphics card you can add on this uh, computer because the motherboard's BIOS is not UEFI. It's the older legacy BIOS. So basically, um, if you don't have UEFI, you cannot use um, the latest graphics card like a GeForce RTX. 2060 on RTX uh, 2070 or RTX 2080 or you and you can't even use a um, GeForce GTX 1600 series right like a GeForce GTX uh, 650 a GeForce GTX 650, 1650 Ti or whatever you can't use any 1600 cards because if you try to put it in here, it, it's not going to boot. Your computer is not going to boot. So uh, what you can use is you can use a, um, a a GeForce GTX 10 series, like a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, or a GeForce GTX 1060 short card. So this case is designed so that you can't put a large graphics card in here. You see this bracket right here? this hard drive rack it's going to prevent you from putting a large graphics card a large graphics card will take this much space right so obviously it's not going to fit so you're going to have to put in a small one like one of these a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti short card and you could also put in a GeForce GTX 1060 short card as well so at, as you can see the short cards have only one fan right and the long card usually have two fans sometimes they could have even three fans so I put an X on there you can't use a full-size GeForce GTX 1050 long card in this computer because it won't fit so that's one of the limitations you have with it uh, you could put any uh, short um, small form factor video card in here like a GeForce GTX uh, 740 um, I think a 920 or something or 940 you could put that in there you could put um, any short video card as long as it is less than a GeForce GTX 10XX series so and you're not going to be able to use the latest video cards even if it is a short card because uh, you don't have the BIOS to do that that's basically it for the graphics card and um, if you have a better graphics card you could definitely do more you could play some games on it 
I'm sure if you get a GeForce GTX 1060 short card with 6 gigabytes, you should be able to play most games, most modern games with it. Pretty much. Okay, that's it for that. And the next thing you could upgrade is the storage devices, like the hard drives. Uh, you could upgrade. You could add more hard drives. You could add SSD. And um, adding an SSD to a uh, computer speeds up the boot time and it just makes it faster overall. And you will need to get something called the IC Dock Dual 2.5 and one 3.5, 5 5.525 inch bay adapter, and you could put it here where the yellow rectangle is. You could put it into one of the 5.25 inch uh, drive bays. You would have to put um, the screws in. So you could slide it in because uh, it uses kind of a Dell Optiplex computers kind of like use a rail system. So you would have to put uh, two screws on the bottom and one screw on the other side on the bottom here. And then you just slide it in and you would get more hard drive or storage space and you would also have to get a PCIe SATA for four ports because this computer only comes with four SATA ports as you can see right there there's one two three four there's only four SATA ports so with this um, addition you could add let's see three here three storage devices four or five so you could add five storage devices so two two and a half inch SSDs you can add in there and three 3.5 inch mechanical hard drives you could put one in which is highlighted in the blue rectangles you could put a hard drive here here and right there in the, in the bay adapter 5.5 5.25 inch bay adapter you can put one hard drive in there so that's three hard drives so and as for the SATA PCIe SATA controller you just need one PCIe slot so if you add a GeForce GTX 1060 short card or a GeForce GTX 1050 short card it will take up two slots here So basically, um, so you could use this slot, this PCIe slot, or this PCIe slot. And I forgot to mention for the graphics card, in order to remove, um, in, in order for you to add PCIe cards, or PCIe cards, you, you see this little tab right here, you just push it, and then it will open that, and you, you could put uh, your SATA cards in there, basically pretty much it and um, so this will now give you four more SATA ports so you would have a total of eight SATA ports but the two others can't be used so as for the SATA ports on the controller on the PCIe controller you cannot boot from it so I would recommend that you you turn the SSD into a um, bootable device you install Windows 10 or if you're using a distro of Linux you could put it into the SSD the operating system on the SSD and um, as for the other stuff you could just as for the other extra hard drive you can um, have it in this say the port in the motherboard or you can have it in the SATA ports on the PCIe card. So I would recommend that you put the hard drives, the, the mechanical hard drives, two of them on this 
PCIe SATA controller and you put the rest of the stuff, your hard drive, your SSDs on the motherboard's uh, SATA ports on the motherboard and one of the hard drives in the motherboard SATA port and the optical drive that came with the computer on the motherboard SATA port as well so that's pretty much it and the last thing you could upgrade here would be the CPU and I think this computer came with an i3 processor however if you want to get more power you can add an i5 2400 uh, CPU but make sure you update the BIOS first before you do it so to remove the CPU it's quite simple so the first thing you have to do is you need to remove the CPU uh, fan pins which is right here you just pull it out and uh, there are four screws that are holding the CPU in place so you just unscrew them it's, you would need a Phillips head screwdriver to do that and uh, I think there's, I don't think there's a lever. Okay, the screws are holding in place and then you just pull it out. And here, there's going to be thermal paste on it. So take some rubbing alcohol and some Q-tips and get a paper towel and then just first apply the rubbing alcohol with the q-tips and that will kind of like loosen up the thermal paste and then get a paper towel and then wipe it and that will get the thermal paste off and here there's a locking mechanism you just push down and then release it and then you could take the CPU out and then So it comes out after you push it down, you see this, it came out, right? So after that, you just pull the CPU out, as it shows in the instruction, you just pull it out and put the new one in, and then you, and then after you get it on, you, it goes in one way, you see this triangle right here, it has to align exactly like that, and there's notches right there, you see? So it goes in just one way like that. So make sure it's in this orientation when you put in your i5-2400 CPU and then just put it in. It doesn't require any force for you to put it in. And I do have videos on how you can install a CPU. And I'll put that in the video descriptions as well so you can uh, get a reference of it. And um, you put the thermal paste on it. Maybe, maybe some in the middle. Just some thermal grease in the middle and it will spread out don't put too much maybe like a dot and you could look at the video and get an idea on how to do that and then you just latch this thing back on after you get it on and then after it's securely in place you just tie the screws in so the way I did it I do it is I do it diagonally I put I screw this on and then I screw the, the screw on here and then I screw it on here and screw it on here but make sure it's not on too tight just make sure it's on there firmly and then the last thing you have to do is you need to uh, put the CPU pow um, fan power back into the board as you can see right there and that's it that's how you upgrade the CPU it's, you know, it's as simple as that so um, if you do make all these upgrades um, your computer will be pretty much up to date um, and you could probably extend the life of your computer for maybe three years or so or more depending on what you use it for and that's pretty much it so thanks for watching by ace 1000ks 1975 signing out